Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So, the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition from EVGA actually does have LED lighting control. Uh, I had already published it, but uh, a friend of mine on here on YouTube, uh, Jareem Weatherby, I hopefully I, I pronounce it correctly. If I didn't, sorry for butchering your name. But he let me know about the NVIDIA GeForce Experience LED Visualizer. Now, this is not included in the EVGA Precision o XOC software because this is actually by NVIDIA. I'm sure EVGAs will have their own LED lighting control from within Precision. But anyway, uh, I wanted to show you just how it works. So, we can see here I have the program already loaded. I can, as you see, the LEDs on. I just click here, off, and now it's off and I'll just turn it back on show you some of the effects okay so we have breathing I'm going to go ahead and let's move it all up to let's do it 50 percent okay you see it breathing there and then let's put it to 100 I kinda like that okay so now we're gonna go ahead and switch it down to flashing Put it up to 50. I don't like that one too much. And put it up to 100. Anybody with epilepsy may not want to watch this. Now we'll drop it down to dual flashing. I'm not sure what that one is. Ah, oh, okay. So bump it up to 50. and bump it up to 100 okay then we can select the range of how bright that light is okay and that goes for these others up here now we'll do random random speeds bump it up to 100 and then again choose the base brightness okay now we'll jump down to audio flashing. I kind of like this one. I may leave it. So we'll put brightness right here to, let's say, 50%. Now, you or 60%, I should say. Now it's dark right now because there is no audio. So I'm going to click on one of my MP3s that I ripped from one of my CDs. Stone Temple Pilots, Wicked Garden. Bump up the brightness. Okay, that's pretty cool the way that one works. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stop for a quick second, and then I'm going to jump to Battlefield 1 to show you how cool this is in game. So, one sec, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so now I'm in Battlefield we 1. Have lost Objective Charlie. All right, so you can see now. With all the explosions and footsteps and everything going on, how the lighting, how the lighting reacts. We have taken objective Edward. I think this is the mode I'm gonna stick with. I love it. All right, so let's go to F real quick. Just wanna show you, hopefully we can get some more reaction out of it. I thought I saw somebody shooting from up here. Ah, 
Ah, he got me. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and jump out of the game real quick and let's see the final lighting effect. So I'm gonna stop this recording. All right, so that looked really cool inside of Battlefield 1. And it's going to work in any uh, game you play, of course, and or music. And let's see what the next one is. Then we have variable brightness. That it'll just change whenever it wants to, I guess. We'll do max here. And well, not much to see on that one. But then... <clears throat> uh, oh, okay, so I'm sorry. So we have temperature, GPU utilization, which we're not doing much now, even though it is uh, action is using the uh, the NVIDIA codec on here. But if there was more U, uh, CPU utiliz or GPU utilization, you'd see that here, GPU clock. So based on how much clock speed it's using, fan speed, voltage. Well, we're not overclocking, we don't have voltage, so it's not going to do much. Then we have here the GPU properties, and you can see the temperature, the fan speed, GPU utilization, it's at zero, and if I had multiple cards, it would show them here. But anyway, uh, that's about it for now. This is Iggy with Dragon Blogger, showing you the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, the LED visualizer, utilizing the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. And again, thank you, Jareem Weatherby, for uh, giving me the advice. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.